Hello and welcome. I'm recording here what a flipped classroom is. It's a pedagogical model. It's where the typical lecture and homework elements of a course are often reversed. Actually, it's a bit more complicated and I think it's important to uh, just pick up where most people think of it it is. They're often there's short video lectures and they're viewed by students at home before a class session. In class time is devoted to exercises, projects and discussions. I see it as a type of blended learning that reverses the traditional learning environment, delivers instructional content, often online, outside the class time, and involves activities including those that may have been traditionally considered homework. In the flipped classroom, students watch the online lectures, and they collaborate in online discussions, and they carry out research at home, engaging concepts in the classroom with the guidance of a mentor. It's not too different to what you're probably already doing in the tertiary environment. In a traditional classroom, the teacher is the centre of the lesson, perhaps the focus, and the primary disseminator information during the class period, responding to questions while students defer directly to the teacher for guidance and feedback. In the flipped classroom, we intentionally shift the instruction to a learn-centred model, which the class time explores topics in greater depth and creates meaningful learning opportunities, maybe using educational technologies like online videos, and intranets to deliver some of that content outside the classroom. In a flipped classroom, the content variety and delivery can take a variety of forms. Now, the lessons are prepared by a teacher and third parties to deliver that content, and the online collaborative discussions and digital research and tech readings can be used to enhance that learning. Now, there are some critics, and I think it's important to know some of these drawbacks. But for students, there can exist a digital divide because not every family has the same socioeconomic background and some access to computers and technology outside the school environment just may not happen. And that model of instruction may put some pressure on the families to gain access to videos and computers after school hours. Also, some students may struggle because of their developing um, responsibility and self-directed learning. And that makes it really tough for them and for the families to be able to work. What is the role of the school then? Um, I think also we have to look at the problem with inverted models that rely on videos to deliver content. Is that the best way for students to engage in question? What about um, the fact that uh, some students may spend too long in front of computer screens? Um, have we thought this part of it through? Are videos the best way to deliver instructions? Do students um, learn better to a video? What are the benefits of listening to a lecture? You may have a question. I can't pause this video to answer it. So watching these instructional videos at home is still going to be a challenge to the ways that we teach. And I think, this is my I guess, my opinion, a constructivist approach may be more beneficial. Now, Teachers may find challenges with this model. It's important to be prepared. You may hear it being used in the classroom and to realize there are many different interpretations of what we might call a flipped classroom. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to your questions in the discussion forum. Thank you.